Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Color Shift Dice Trays Kickstarter by Easy Roller Dice. Now I'm not getting paid to review these, nor am I keeping the product since I'll be giving it away, so this should be a pretty unbiased review. With that in mind, let's review this new take on an old classic dice tray style. Now this isn't the first Easy Roller product that I've taken a look at, and it's not even the first dice tray of theirs that I've gotten to use. Hell, it's the same body style as the last one, so what's special here? The main draw to these trays is their color shifting logo on the lid of the dice tray. And when you buy these, you can mix and match whatever base pack pattern and whatever logo on the lid of the dice tray that you want. Now, I've been calling them a dice tray, but they're almost like a dice box with how freaking big they are. They're about 9 inches in diameter. You can pick your lid to go with one of the five different base designs or patterns, most of which have this blue nebula galaxy paint swirl style, but you can also get plain gray if you want that. I got base design A to review here, and I love it. The fabric material on the base keeps your dice rolling super quiet and is really soft, but also strong enough to not fray and leave little bits of fuzz all over the place. They've also got a raised staging area to keep your waiting dice with a rolling area that sits far enough down to even stand some minis up in. I also took a very sharp metal D4 and tried to scratch the leather material on the tray's backside. It's pretty thick, so I don't think you're going to have any accidental tears anytime soon. Even the underside of the lid has this material. It also seems to be made with wood instead of cardboard like some other trays, so try as I might to bend this, and I'm pushing here pretty hard. I couldn't get any warping that lasted on the tray, so I'm pretty happy with the overall durability. Now, all of that is well and good, but what about getting to actually roll some dice on the tray? How does it look? How does it sound? To test that, let's use some of these solid metal dragon dice I got from Easy Roller a few years back. Now, just rolling these dice on the table would be well and good, but let's talk about part two of the Kickstarter, which is just an add-on for 10 bucks that you can do to get a matching color shift dice cut. I think I could just roll dice on this tray and that would be just fine, but why not use this dice cup? It's felt lined on the interior, so it's not going to scratch up. Now, I'm going to shut up while you just get to hear the dice roll. Uh-oh, nat one on an easy roller dice and an easy roller tray. I guess you can't have too much of a good thing, but we won't hold it against them. We'll just call it bad luck. What about another solid metal dice? These gold dice from Norse Foundry. What about some of my handmade resin dice? One thing to note is that if you have slightly oversized dice, they probably won't fit in the staging area. My dice are a little bit bigger, so my D20 just won't fit. Now, speaking of big D20s, why don't we take a look at some humongous ones, because they'll fit in the rolling area when I close it, so why not see how they roll here? I wouldn't worry if you've bought handmade dice before, though. Like, this dicey encounter set fits perfectly fine. I just make mine a little bit too large. and a nat 20 on the very last test roll. That's called ending it on a high note. So what do I think of this dice tray that's really big enough to be a dice box? I think it's great. I thought their original design like this was awesome when I saw it before, and I still like it now. The addition of the color shifting logos makes this stand out, and it's made with quality stuff. It's not anything revolutionary or gonna change the tabletop world, but it's a great product, and not every product has to be. It's gorgeous, a solid dice tray that will fit all you really need into it when traveling for a game, so if that's what you want, I think this is a good tray to get. And if you want to try and win this one for free, then come check out my 24-hour charity stream tomorrow. I'll be making dice with you all, painting minis, and running a bunch of D&D games. I'll also be giving away the tray and cup from this video, so huge thank you to Easy Roller for helping provide a giveaway for a stream that benefits my local children's hospital. I hope to see you there, but either way, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think about this tray, and I hope that you have a fantastic day. Hey, that rhymed.